Well, I often say, John Roskam, if you don't stand for anything, you end up standing for nothing. That's my one line summary out of Saturday night. But what's your view? I think that's right, Peter. Um, voters were confused. Uh, an approach that puts pragmatism above principle, that says uh, the Liberal Party will abandon its responsibility to financial economic management uh, is going to end up with the result uh, that the Liberals got on Saturday. And exactly as you say, Peter, and have said for many years, the idea that the way the Liberal Party gets back into government is by going to the left is not borne out by reality. As a born and bred Melbourneian and Victorian, I have seen here in this state what 20 years of that approach has done. It has given the Victorian Liberals mm. perpetual opposition. We saw the same in Western Australia. This is not the way to go for the Federal Liberal Party. We also saw in South Australia back in February, the South Australian Liberals lost government because they were a very woke first term uh, government. They're now resigned, uh, consigned to, to history. The issue, again, in New South Wales, too, we might have a conservative in Dom Perrottet, but the government absolutely is not. I mean, Matt Keane and the Liberal moderates run the show. There was a debate about going left and right, but I think that that is a low brow analysis. It's actually a debate about going back to Menzi principles, Liberal Party principles, all the principles that have got them into government from opposition in the past, or thinking they can somehow out outflank Labor via the Liberal left. I think that's the debate. And that, that's right, Peter. And there's something even deeper than that, which is who does the Liberal Party want to represent? Uh, the professional women of Kuyong and Wentworth are not the forgotten people that Menzies spoke about. If you look at the data, Peter, 16 of the poorest 20 seats in Australia, federal seats, are held by the coalition. That's who the coalition must fight for and stand for. The party of Ben Chifley, the party of the workers, the Labor Party, now holds more wealthy seats than does the Liberal Party. After Saturday night, seven of the wealthiest 20 electorates in Australia are held by the Labor Party, five by the Liberals. So it's not just a question of what do the Liberals need to do to get into government again. It's a question of what do they want to be, mm -hmm. who do they want to fight for, and certainly from my position as a Liberal Party member and also from the IPA's position, the people who need a voice are those hit by rising power prices, are those who are concerned about their children's education. It is not the post-material emotional appeal of the Teals, of the Greens and now of large sections of the Labor Party that the Liberal Party should be repeating.